All right, welcome to this week's news in Metalcore, and, you know, obviously, uh, Metalcore adjacent, everything, you know, hardcore, deathcore, et cetera, et cetera, um, where we bring you the most recent band news, band drama, uh, tour announcements, and album slash song announcements. So, uh, first off, you know, we do have a lot this week, uh, mostly tour and song announcements, only a couple, um, actual news segments. Um, so for starters, I will start with, uh, the saddest, um, of the news. We've got, uh, X, uh, Life Once Lost, uh, they misspelled that in the title, that's nice. Uh, drummer TJ has passed away, I, I didn't... Um, this, uh, they were popular, you know, back in the day. I think I have one of their albums in my car. Um, let's say they're, uh, they're deathcore, right? Uh, kind of like, more like uh, that? they're originally like kind of like 2000s metalcore and then they went kind of like groove metalcore. Yeah. Like very riffy kind of. I can't remember which album it is I have in my car. I bought it. I bought it. It was one of those I bought um, from. They were. I think what they were on Ferret or something. I don't know. Because um, they. I got yeah. it from the Dollar Tree actually recently. I last also year. have the same one. Yeah. Uh, it's one of their later albums. Yeah, it is later. Um, but yeah, uh, passed away um, recently. So uh, if you want to go, give some of their music a spin and uh, give it a. Um, um, some respect. He played on their debut album, Open Your Mouth for a Speechless, um, and also on their EP, The Fourth Plague Flies. So he is one of the early members. Um, so rest in peace to TJ. Um, next, we've got... Uh, God damn it. I totally forgot this was on here. Uh, so fit for an autopsies, Joe leaves the big six. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it was last week that we had Franz leaving the big six. Um, what a shit show. This is, um, absolutely hilarious. Um, I believe, um, for what I've seen, uh, Tyler from, um, Traders, is that his name, right? Uh, he posted something, uh, leading to the lines of that, uh, something about label, um, discrepancies that, you know, labels don't like if you do some shit. Um, without telling them, I don't know if that's true or not, or if there's just other shit, but this just, come on, like, the, they, they, they formed, and, like, within three weeks, they've lost two of their main members, and replaced one, uh, working on replacing this one, and it's just like, why are you doing this? Like, I don't know, like, I, 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 I appreciate all the members in that group, for the most part, <laughs> but, uh, it's just kind of, it's kind of silly. It's a little, it's a little silly. I'm just saying. So, um, who knows what's going to happen? It's just, it's just goofy. Um, and, uh, so that's it for the actual news. Um, now we've got going on to tour announcements. Uh, we've got wage war, um, announced their U S tour with nothing, nowhere and spite. So that's an interesting little mix here. I'm not very familiar with nothing, nowhere. Uh, I feel like I've heard them before. I think they have like some like, if it's the band I'm thinking of, they have like trap, metalcore, mixture. Maybe I I don't I don't fucking know. Um, but they do have spite as well. Um, which is a bummer for me because um, <sighs> Wage War early Wage War was really good. Uh, but they were friends with the Day to Remember, so they toured with the Day to Remember. They blew up really fast and. I think they let that influence their writing abilities because then they just started doing butt metal uh, and butt metal core. I feel like if they would have actually done like tours with bands like Spite back in the day, they could have been a lot bigger in the actual like metal core and like heavy communities. That's just my opinion. That's always been my opinion on this band. I do like their early stuff. Some of their newer songs have been pretty decent. Um, I did see them at. <laughs> I sound hyper hypocritical because I did see them on the Day Remember tour. Okay, uh, just leave me alone about it. Um, it was like a Day to Remember and Moose Blood. Moose Blood's canceled now, but um, but yeah. So got a nice little tour here. So if you're interested in Spite, which we didn't listen to their new album, so I don't know if they're still good anymore. I know their previous one was not very interesting. So curious to see 
where they went, but uh, I, I told Tana this, and uh, Tana, you know, she, I, she tried to listen to the new Spite and fucking hated it, and so when I told her they were touring with Wage War, she was like, that makes sense. Um, so she considers both of them butt metal at this point, so. Uh, but, you know, hey, Wage War does have some good music, so. Um, next up, Gojira and Mastodon announced co-headlining North American tour with Lorna Shore. Uh, fucking weird. I know a lot of people were pissed off uh, in the comments on Facebook. You know, all of the Gojira and Mastodon fans mainly um, were like, why the fuck is Lorna Shore on this? And for some reason, my cat is meowing very loudly, so I don't know if y'all can hear that. Um, <laughs> uh, very interesting little mixture, considering Gojira and Mastodon are, you know, some of the biggest names in uh metal um and older a lot older names as well um and then they've got lorna shore so <laughs> uh but you know maybe maybe the old heads listening to gajir and macedon will uh find a new appreciation for lorna shore or they just will show up late um so That's I what don't... I'll probably <laughs> uh uh toyota music factory i wouldn't go that's a big that's like amphitheater Type shit. That's pretty close to me. About 15 minutes away. So. Oh yeah, that is, yeah. Okay. I've never been there personally, but I've just driven by it. Uh, Technically, yeah, it's in weird, Irving. Weird. Uh, yeah, it is. Um. All right. Next up, fucking Pantera announced a North American headlining tour. I think this is their first actual tour in a long time. They did have. They had like a little like mini run, their little, little reunion run, but now they're doing an actual uh, tour. With Lamb of God, which is fitting, um, I guess. Uh, Lamb of God, we we did their album that they put out this past year. It was uh, it was decent. Um, you know, again, Pen Philip Anselmo's kind of a piece of shit. So uh, go at your own risk. Um, I know they have a uh, they have a lot of appreciation, you know, in the music that they've put out over the years. So what can you say? You know. Uh, just one of those things uh rex brown still in the band that's the guy my mom dated when they were a local band here in dallas <laughs> so uh it was around the time i was born so hey i could be a product of pantera and just not know it um but anyways that's a uh, another just interesting thing i'm wondering if they have uh does say support act to be determined um so some of these dates could have some other stuff uh, but right I now, know the show for God. Dallas is the one with Metallica. Oh yeah, they do have a couple on here. It says uh, hashtag with with Metallica. Which I'm actually kind of thinking about going. The tickets aren't bad. <clears throat> what it is. Wow, that's a. So they have a the first. What does that say? I can't. Re it's re very tiny. I know you guys probably can't see it. I I'm having trouble seeing it. I think this says five twenty, and then the next date is seven thirteen. So that's. Um, I swear to God, that's a five. That is weird. Um, and Daytona, Florida. Oh, it's a festival. So, okay, I guess that makes sense more now. Um, so it starts in, technically, we'll say July and ends in, God, it goes all the way through November. <laughs> I think what? Uh, but a good chunk of it is mostly in August. So uh, if you're into any of that stuff, you know, go check it out. I'm not. Uh, and then we've got some uh, a couple Furnace Fest news here, which we will be at. So if you like Furnace Fest, if you like some older metalcore style stuff and hardcore stuff, come hang out with us uh, at Furnace Fest because we will be there. Uh, Xtal returns to U.S. after 18 years. We'll play Furnace Fest 2023. Uh, I'm not familiar with them at all, but Jordan was excited. So Jordan, do you want to say anything? Mm -hmm. Um pretty surprised because i don't think they've played in the u.s since like 2005 yeah. or something like that first live show in uh u.s live show in 18 years uh they don't have their original singer i think they announced today but they have somebody filling in so we'll see you there yeah uh so Right now, the uh, festival so far, there is more coming between the Bury Me, Seosin, Strife, Defeater, 90 Pound Wuss, Blessed by a Broken Heart, Inclination, One King Down, Gorilla Biscuits, Callous Dow Boys, Drain, Foreign Hands, uh, Reunions from Head Automatica, <laughs> It Dies Today, King Shit right there, uh, Plea for Purging, Training for Utopia, Hate Breed, Norma Jean, Gideon, Vane FM, 
Blood comes cleansing with honor. Walls of Jericho. That's going to be a good one. I'm excited for Walls of Jericho. Orthodox, mm -hmm. slow pulse, and no cure. Um, and with that, Scal, Teenage Wrist, and Valley Heart added to Furnace Fest. <laughs> As well. Scal is a. Uh, they're kind of blowing up. They're one of the bigger um, hardcore bands I've seen all over TikTok, um, especially playing shows at, like Sonic and stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> very interesting stuff so um that'll be cool to see them if i would definitely go see them if they have an open spot there's a lot of reunion bands on this so i don't know you know we're gonna have to see when the when the lineup comes out who i'm gonna see but if there's an open spot to see scowl i will go see scowl uh for they're sure. also playing coachella oh yeah uh have you heard new gideon yes we have heard new gideon yes. i'm kind of more of an older gideon fan uh but mm -hmm. new gideon's new gideon's First good two too albums are yeah. Uh, next up, Black Dahlia Murder. This is kind of a big one. Black Dahlia Murder announced Verminous Remnant Tour, uh, featuring support from Terror, Frozen Soul, Fuming Mouth, and Phobophilic. Um, so this is their first tour after uh, you know Trevor passing away. Uh, so super sad, but good to see them. You know, still trucking on. Uh, I think he would probably want that. So um, it's probably going to be an emotional one for a lot of people um i again i've never been a fan of the band but uh i have respect for them and i know a lot of people love them um so it is a pretty big thing and with terror i know a lot of people were talking shit about that one as well uh for some reason but uh and the one in montreal has despised icon so that'd be a good one if i lived in montreal right. i would go for sure um so this is pretty cool um so go check this out uh i think frozen soul is pretty good as well um from texas i'm pretty sure yeah that's not the band that's not the band that played norma Jean, is it what, what was that band's name uh the very like he is legendy style band um the one with the member the guy from two by four uh it was something kind of like that yeah I, I know who you're talking about yeah um, all right, next up, uh, Suicide Silence announces release date for upcoming album, share music video. Uh, so now we're on to uh, uh, the album announcements and song, uh, song drops that we've got for this week. Um, out on March 10th, of course, a lot of albums coming out in March. So uh, this one's going to out. March is going to be a busy month for us, uh, even though um technically eddie from suicide silence is a uh, also uh recently named as a piece of shit uh i was really into all shall perish back in the day really good stuff music still holds up perfectly um newer suicide silence does not hold up very well um so well i haven't listened to this out this song yet uh <laughs> lamb goat apparently describes it as brutally amusing so <laughs> I don't know, uh, but we will definitely we'll, we're, we're going to review it. So we'll see when that comes out. Uh, yo, two by four was sick. Yes, they were mm -hmm. local band. Um, Full of hell and primitive man announced collaborative album share for a single. Um, I haven't listened to this one. This was also March 3rd release date. So again, um, I'm not, a, <laughs> I'm definitely not a full of hell fan. Jordan is just not my style uh we listened to a full of hell song on our friday night stream that we do 6 p.m central standard time on youtube um and i had trouble getting through it but uh it was one of the collab songs i'm pretty sure oh uh, was it was it yeah yeah uh yeah it was it was rough it's just not my style it was very uh, droney in my opinion um but uh, co uh they also kick off a headlining co-headlining tour with acacia strain so that's pretty cool uh support by fit for an autopsy so check that out as well um next up entheos uh, if you're a fan of uh progressive death metal yeah um i'm friends with cheney on facebook uh from back when she um did vocal tryouts for veil of maya um she should have been the vocalist of Elamaya. That would have been really cool. Uh, though I do like uh, oh, yeah. Lucas. Lucas is good, but uh, her her tryout was really good. Um, so if you like this uh, progressive death metal kind of shit, uh, their last album, Wow, was uh, from 2017. And again, March 3rd. So we're just going to be fucking stacked on, 
uh, in March. Um, next up, Judiciary. Judiciary. Reveal details for new album Flesh and Blood. Debut for a single. March 10th. God damn it. <laughs> Oh, everything in March. Holy shit. Um, we're going to be reviewing our asses off. We're going to be on top of that. Um, uh, they're a good band. I, I've seen them a couple times. Um, yep. So, yeah. Uh, ooh, uh, handled by Will Putney as well. Uh, here's some sad news uh, for the Fallen Dreams reveal details on new self-titled album. Also, I believe March 10th <laughs> is everything on March 10th. Um, this one's not going to be a very fun one. I love For the Fallen Dreams so much. One of my top favorite bands of all time. I have a For the Fallen Dreams tattoo. Their first one, two, three, one, two, three, and then skip four and then five albums were really good uh some of the best uh melodic metalcore slash melodic hardcore music you could have ever heard and uh now they are doing weird but metalcore with rapping and i just don't know what the fuck is going on with this band so i'm we're gonna review it we're not gonna be excited for it but stay tuned March 10th. It's like as soon as a band joins a rising empire, they just like completely. I just don't know. Like I, I guess because I feel like something had to do with when I when I saw them do the changes tour. Um, and I feel like they just they knew they were kind of dropping off, and so they were. I feel like they were just desperate to do something different, and so that's what they did. They're like, oh, let's try to sell out, and I don't know. I don't I I don't feel like this is what they would really write but who fucking knows nowadays <sighs> Next up Chelsea Grin uh share their first single off of Suffer in Heaven we have not listened to this one I don't know if we're going to because we really want to review the album we really liked the first half um and we also didn't really include it in our top fives because of it being a split album. I wanted to wait and hear the second half. So I am very excited to hear the second half, though. Um, I think when we review this, we might. I wonder if we should. Or we could probably just listen to the first one, like, on our own, just, like, the same day, like, ahead of time or something like that. I feel like we should do we it. I think we could. You know, we'll see. We'll see how yeah. long the length is uh, for sure, because this is also on March 17th. So it's another March album. Um, a week after the 10th. So. Yeah uh but but i am very excited for this uh the the first half was really good so uh next up oceans 8 alaska dropped their instrumental version of disparity um so if you kind of want to listen to uh chris turner's solo stuff again here you go you got the instrumental version of disparity so it's going to be basically the same I think thing they've done that with other albums uh oh. which you know hey i would like to see if chris turner puts out his uh, vocal vocalized version of his self-titled album because or not self-titled but his solo album because it was, it, that was also really good but I'm not an instrumental kind of guy um, I like the vocals and would like to see where he does that but uh, so yeah uh, if you're a fan of Ocean's 8 Alaska and you just want to listen to some other you know get more dive into the um, jam stuff in there go check it out uh, next, we got a, just a few more. Uh, Jesus Peace, share upcoming album details. What do we want to guess this comes out in March? How much you want to bet? Nope. Ooh, April 14th. Nice. Thank you, Jesus Peace, for not putting it as March 10th. Um, so uh, they also just signed to Century Media, so that's pretty big for them. Um, I know they've had some really high production uh, uh, music videos. So they just put out one the other day. Um, oh yeah that was a really good video so uh yeah uh their second single so uh definitely excited for this one they're a really good band extremely solid live love to see them um so excited to see them get some a little extra recognition very interesting uh artwork here feels like a like a 90s like rap album cover mm -hmm. you know the the very like kind of cgi looking thing I, I like that looks like it could be a body count cover yeah um all right next up we got of sulfur release march god damn it uh reveal detail for debut album 
a new music video. I don't think we saw this music video. We've seen a couple of their other ones. Their other ones were pretty good. Um, but uh, this album comes out. Ooh, uh, Mix and Mastered by Maestro Josh Schroeder, who did Lorna Shore and Tala. I didn't know that that guy. Oh, Morgoth um, Beats. Producer from Winds of Plague and Scarlord. That's cool. No, that's the vocalist of Winds of Plague. Are you sure he's the vocalist? Yeah, because he's friends with uh, Finn McKinty. I've seen. Remember, it. he was in that. He was in that picture with Finn and Eddie from Suicide Silence. So I've seen him. I see him on TikTok. He's on TikTok, but I never Bald thought he. Guy, was, bunch yeah, of I know. I know who he is, but I didn't know. He doesn't look like the vocalist. Like I've met. I took a picture with the vocalist, and I don't remember him looking I'm like that. Pretty I, sure it is. I don't know. Well, whatever. Guy from Winds of Plague. <laughs> Um, uh, and split engineering with uh, former Machine Head guitarist as well, so that's pretty cool. Um, so a lot of uh, interesting stuff. They got test uh, guest work from Taylor Barber, Kyle Medina. Uh, wait, what? Alex. Hold on. Howard Jones. Uh, I'm trying to read this. Uh, the, Hoover keeps up with the likes of that mass man. Plus, guest Tyler Barber, Kyle Medina is impressive. Though not entirely surprising that he holds on. This is really terribly written. I don't know who wrote this. None of this. <laughs> what? None of this makes sense. Who wrote this? Who wrote this? Holy shit. Look, I'm not trying to cut. Yeah, he is in this. Okay, but uh, look, look I, I don't know if y'all can read this. I'm going to blow this up for you guys here. Look, let me fucking. No, look at this. Uh, this sentence starts off with that that, that that Hoover keeps up with the likes of Mass Madman plus guests, blah, 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 blah. And then the next one, again, starts off with that he holds on his own. What? What? That doesn't. And then however is period throughout on the. I can't read this. I don't know what the fuck this is saying. But apparently there's some guest vocalists on this. So there you go. Um, last but not least, last the. Uh, uh, Silent Civilians apparently back and have released a second single. I didn't know they had a fucking first one. Um, they're a band I used to listen to a long time ago. I actually saw them on that tour with It Dies Today and Bring Me the Horizon and Kitty. Um, so sh color me surprised. I didn't when I saw this news pop up that they had a second single. I didn't again. I didn't know they even had a fucking first one. So um, wild. Um, we're working on its long-awaited third album. Album will boast 16 songs. Holy shit! Please don't be in March. I doubt it will be if they haven't announced a date for it yet. But um, uh, so yeah, if you want some like older uh metalcore, kind of very politicized, uh, obviously based on the um band name and everything. Uh, but I do really like it. So um, go check that out as well. But with that, that is the end of the news. So appreciate you guys checking out this news section. A uh, reminder that we do stream Friday nights, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time for uh, our Drunken Song Request streams over on YouTube. Come request some songs. We drink beers. It's a good night. We have fun. And then on Saturdays and Sundays, we do album reviews. And then we also do our... That's when we film our uh, Metalcore news. And then... Um, Sometimes we'll do some other kind of reaction and discussion type stuff uh, if time is allowing with the albums, which we probably won't be able to do in March because there's so many goddamn albums in March. So, um, but appreciate y'all for coming. Let us know if you like these news videos and let us know if you're excited for any of these tours and albums and such. Um, but other than that, that's about it. Thanks for coming. Old Head Mike, Young Ass Jordan reminding you, never too old for this.